Beginner's Guide to Cats Cats, diets, and food. Many cats have different diets required for them, but we will just start off and tell you some tips. There's not going to be any telling what food to get for your cat in this, but just some tips. To start off, cats cannot go vegan. Cats cannot go vegan because their digestive system isn't geared for plants. Cats can't eat vegetable or fruit-based diets, and they need to eat meat. Next, most non-cat owners even know this one. It is simply to use trusted food companies for your cat. Make sure to read the back of the bag and do some research before buying any foods of any kind. Some foods can be unhealthy for your kind of cat too, so make sure your food is trusted. A good source of information is P-U-R-I-N-A.com. They have all sorts of information about anything you need for yours. If your cat is responding well to food, go to an official veterinarian. You should probably go to them for food options if your cat has specific allergies also. Best toys for your cat. Toys are a hard subject for cats. Some play with different kinds of toys, some don't play at all. If you have a playful cat, this section could really help you in a way or two. Little kittens don't really need specific toys. You could just get them a small mouse toy for them to play with and they'll be fine with that for the time being. If you have a fully grown cat, then it could be a different story. Grown cats would like different toys depending on the toys they grew up with, and also some of the cats would like to, to have toys to cuddle with, depending on the kind of cat you have. Cats can like mouse toys or bean bags filled with rice, rice or beads. Rice is a better option because um, beads could get messy. But cats also like chew toys, like ropes or plushies. Um, bean bags are more for throwing and chewing because they can be easily opened by a cat's teeth. There are also toys that move by themselves, but you could just get your cat a red laser. Also, cats like to steal things off of desks and drawers, like air ties and hand warmers and just things like that, so. They can also just make their own toys, basically. Cats' likes and habits. Most people stereotype cats as playful and destructive things, but a lot of cats aren't like that. Some are. A lot of cats commonly like playing with toys, but a lot of different cats have a lot of different likes. Some cats can play fetch just like dogs can, but this isn't about their toys. It's about their likes and habits. Cats like a lot of, of different things and dislike a lot of different things. A common dislike among cats is sudden or loud noises. These can put them on high alert and freak out cats. Um, something cats like is either playing or cuddling. Some cats prefer to cuddle with people and some cats prefer to play with people. But no matter what, like I said in the last one, cats have a habit of stealing things that aren't toys and making them into toys. Um, and They'll basically steal whatever they can find and make it into a toy. And something to keep in mind is not all cats are playful. So if you're getting one, it's good to look at their behaviors from a trusted website or from the people you're adopting slash buying from. Another cat habit is exploring new areas. So make sure to close your doors or else cats could go out. Different kinds of cats. There are many different kinds of cats like Sphinx cats and Munchkin cats but a lot of different cats can apply to your at-home needs too. We advise using the website Purina.com if you're looking for a cat and you want to know more official information on them. Purina, P-U-R-I-N-A.com. But if you're looking for a cat companion, as if it were a dog or something like that, the American Bobtail breed of cats might just be for you. They are very devoted cats and can fit well into a family or just one person. This cat gets along well with children too. They live up to 13 to 15 years. If you're looking for a cuddly cat that you want to just be reserved with, we recommend the Himalayan cat for you. This cat likes being a pet and also likes just sitting in your lap most of the time. These cats like quiet environments with no little, little 
to know day to day changes as much as you can have known have none. They have risks of overheating, so just be careful because they have a lot of fur. And they can only really fit in households with one or two people. How to get your cats to like you. First off, how to get your cat to like you is easier said than done. But some cat but some of these tips might help you. Firstly, cats don't like it if you put them at the point where their tail starts. Putting them there over those the nerves and can make them confused. The best place to put them is right between the ears. Cats take petting as grooming and cleaning, so between their ears is a good spot. Another thing is don't give them new smells as often as you can. Cats don't like new smells, and so things like perfume are not good options, at least while you're around a cat. Cats rely on smell to identify each other mostly, so if you smell the same every day, your cat will get used to you. If you have a shy cat, um, something good to do is use treats to help them spend more time or be more social with you. If you call their name while offering a treat, they'll associate your voice with treats. Then they come to your voice easier when you call them. Also, um, cats, oh, hold on, I have a second point. I just need to find it in my brain. Um, oh yeah, cat, um, when wearing things like perfume, it, cats can smell it for days after, even if you think it's worn off, they can still smell it on you. Thank you for watching this, um, this little video, this little movie I made about um, keeping a pet cat, like for the first time. Um, and I hope you all enjoyed this. This took me uh, like a month to make with my partner, Nolan. Um, I'll have our like full names and all the credits. Um, after this, this is just a conclusion. So I hope you all enjoyed this. Um, and yeah, I hope some of this helped you. Goodbye.